time. Yes. Delightful. G'day, Smoky Dagger fans. We're coming to you live from Tiki Cauldron. Nice little cheeky spot down in Perth suburbs. Suburbs? <laughs> it's just in the Perth suburbs. <laughs> nice little place uh, not too far out of Perth CBD. It's the hottest new place in town, and we're here with the uh, the owner, proprietor, and uh, lead mixologist, Mr. Ross Green. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what Tiki Cauldron is really all about. Howdy. Yeah, really, I just wanted to open up a place for the people of the suburbs, Perth, you know, just anyone that lives in the suburb, they're welcome. I just saw the locals of Perth that I was going for. And I have to ask, Tiki Cauldron, it's such a unique name. Why Tiki Cauldron? It just sort of came to me a dream, maybe through magic, maybe destiny. Destiny! So Tiki Cauldron's obviously a pretty high-level wordplay, so we've got the Tiki elements, I mean, that's pretty clear, but What's the cauldron? What's that all about? Well, we wanted to bring a bit of magic, and also it Harry Potter. It doesn't really work in any other way except I like the wordplay. So, do you consider yourself a Severus Snape or a half-blooded prince? Get behind the bar? I'm certainly not a Hufflepuff like Tom, that's for sure. And what are you preparing for us right now? Now, well, today we got a little uh, rum cocktail, cherry lime syrup and we're gonna get a bit of a mint infusion happening. It's quite a nice rum. This is a, a Solera rum. Is that some fancy Harry Potter word or what's Solera mean? In Diagon Alley itself. Diagon Alley! So we'll do six shots. None of us have work tomorrow. We'll get a bit of a squeeze of fresh lime. Where do you get your lime? Just over half a lime. Oh, just a local lime tree. And here we go with the syrup. It's quite simple to make a So you made syrup. this syrup yourself? I did. One cup water, one cup sugar, some cherries and some lime zest. Bring it to boil and then let it simmer for about an hour. Three shots, it is quite sweet. Give that a little shake. Angus, would you like to do the honours? Oh, sure. Always dreamed of owning my own bar. It's as close as I get. Do I have to say a Harry Potter spell or something help? Got... I don't actually really know any of it. It's really hard work. I must prefer barbecuing. This is incredibly relevant. Right. So we've got our glasses, a bit of ice, and put a little uh, slice of wine in each. So what's the inspiration for this cocktail? Obviously rum, the fundamental spirit to have with the tiki bar. And then I was thinking what the a creative effort to enhance the rum. And we came up with this cherry syrup and I think it works just great. And you were talking about Diagon Alley before. A wizard or a witch would pick up on the, maybe their first year at Hogwarts? And if they're cheeky. Is it on the recommended reading list for first years? Anyway, here you go. Here you go, half a if you accept it, you accept that you're a Hufflepuff. Cheers. It tastes a bit tart, a bit tarty, a bit like my port barrel. This is a nice sipping rum with the enhancement of the cherry. You got it? Would you say this is Nimbus 2000 or a Firebolt? It's a Firebolt. It's the fastest brew in the world. Is this what I have to work with, Tom? And that's a cut. <laughs> 